When planning a conveyor line, when should you use servo technology for your product manipulation and when should you use a more simple technology such as a pneumatic device? On the one hand, pneumatic devices offer lower acquisition costs and generally don't require a special skill set to maintain. On the other hand, servo technology provides solutions that can't be met with other technologies. The use of servo technology can also lower the overall unit costs through improvements in line efficiencies, reduced maintenance, and utility costs. The difficult part is determining when it is necessary and when it's just additional cost. As a general guideline, clamps and stops almost never require servo technology. Pushers seldom require servos unless stroke lengths are quite long and cycle rates exceed 40 pushes per minute. Smart designs, like pushing multiple products, can decrease the cycle rate to acceptable levels for pneumatic devices. In high volume packaging lines, servo controlled laners and diverters are often used. The case is made for investing in servo controls with an effective control solution when line balancing, accumulation, and line efficiency goals are achieved. Other common servo devices are Smart belt merges. And retractable noser conveyors. For more information about servo technology and how to save cost on conveyor controls, take our on-demand webinar, How to Plan for Line Integration. You can find the link at www.nurcon.com.